team-wide turnover is going to jump off the stat sheet. Did you see a theme or a reason why the ball was getting coughed up tonight, and how did that affect the game? Well, it was nice. You know, loose balls, they get their hands on them a little bit. One of those nice happens. You know, since AD went out and, and now you, you kind of look at the where the standings are, and I know you guys are trying to do that all the time, but does losing a game like tonight, does that does that have any additional impact as you kind of forecast what's going to happen for the next couple of weeks? No. Um, like I keep reiterating, the record at this point, you know, you don't, we're not going to close the gap in one night. Uh, as the season prolonged, we got 20 or so games left for so We got to make sure we find a way that we know how to best to play. We we understand <clears throat> game like tonight we're supposed to win. And, yeah, you know, NBA, sometimes you get beat. Teams come in and it happens. But we know we have a bigger goal in mind and a bigger <clears throat> goal and that's to ultimately play for a championship at the end of the year. So um, we just got to lock in and focus on uh, things that's important. For us, no matter what's happening, energy and effort seems to be something that you always bring how would you assess that as a team uh, tonight? Yeah, I mean, not our greatest, um, you know. Um, I think just each play, just be getting down on ourselves too much um, and just uh, not playing as hard as we can. You know, teams are coming in playing harder, and I believe that's just kind of their scout report, just play harder than them and see what happens. And it's working, you know, until we – Determined and have a determination that we we're not going to allow it, uh, especially in, on our home floor. Um, you know, it will continue to happen to us. That's a, that's something that's seemingly controllable. Mm -hmm. Is that is that a harder thing to to sit with than like a missed shot or, or something like that? Um, I mean, I guess yes, but also, um, you know, I think when you're in the season and there's so much going on, there's so many ups and downs and different things. Everybody kind of deal with it differently. Sometimes it's, it takes a toll on you as a, as a player mentally and physically and, you know, coming off the break, um, you know, we haven't been our sharpest and we understand that and we know uh, miss or make shots, whatever, that's a part of the game. Uh, but playing hard, you know, is um, something that we can't allow ourselves not to do, you know, night and night basis. Russ, after these first two losses, after the break, What's going to be the best way for you guys to regroup going forward? Um, I don't have that answer for you. I wish I did. Um, but right now, we just got to figure out how to get a win um, the best way we know how and um, try to play the right basketball, you know. That's all I can say. Russ, um, you know, I think you all pretty consistently said if this team is healthy, <laughs> we believe in the potential of what they're going to do um, based on whatever happens with AD. I mean, it just seems like the team is not going to be healthy, or if they are healthy, it's just going to be at the very end of the year. Do you think that realization is affecting how this team plays and, and the idea that you guys might not be able to reach your potential? Um, I don't know if it takes a toll um, or not. You know, that's an up in the air type of answer that I don't have for you. Russ, I want to ask you to speak for anyone else, but you talked about the, you know, get, well, I'm going to ask about other people, I guess. You talk about the group getting down on itself, you know, more than it should at times, and that kind of taking, having an effect. Is that the result of, of like, is that a cumulative toll of this season? Like, where it's just the season hasn't gone your way? Do you feel like that's just the weight of this whole year? I mean, you know, each individual kind of deals with it separately, you know. Obviously, I, I know your, your question, but it's hard for me to, I don't want to speak for nobody else, but I think, you know, with what's going on with the season, you know, injuries and different things, even the crowd today booing and, you know, it's a lot for people like, you know, that could be a lot for somebody that's not accustomed to it or it can, it can take a toll. Um, and, you know, all I kept doing, keep doing is I'm going to stay positive and make sure that I keep encouraging uh, my teammates and keep building confidence in our locker room, regardless of what's going on, regardless of what is said outside of our locker room and make sure that we collectively do not point fingers because a lot of times during times like this, everybody likes to point point fingers and like it's easy to do that's the easy way out instead of actually just owning what we do um and making sure we have each other's backs um and, and be there for your brother and to me that's all i'm gonna keep doing and making sure that we keep our confidence high keep 
our swagger up as we kind of move forward towards the end of the year and, and, and find a way to you know, get our stride. Since you brought it up, does the booing like you know pretty pretty loud, especially at the end of the game? Does that stick with you? Like how do how do you handle like, nah, that? Like, nah. You don't take that home with you. For, take it home for what? I don't think about it. Shit, take it home, man. Well, I got three beautiful kids at my house. My wife I ain't taking it home. They take their boo and they get take their ass home. <laughs> I ain't worried about that. Doesn't bother me none. And that's the part. And I'm not really worried about it um, at all. And that's how I deal with it. So I'm not, you know, I can it, it roll off my shoulder. I go home. But as for our team, I have to think of something that you got to deal with and kind of move forward. So, yeah.